What up, what up, your boy E-Dragons. Came to show you a couple of updates on the Dragons. Michelangelo over here taking off on me. I uh, look like going in the shed. Most of these Dragons are going in the shed. About that time for them. Usually there's a little bit more pigment on the orange. This is a House of Dragons dragon. Um, last year. It's about a year old now. Always ready. Look at him. Always ready. Can't wait to put a female in front of her. Wait till Red's ready for you. That girl and you are gonna go nice. But yeah, he's about ready. And Red is the top one. I'll get to her in a minute. Let's get at Princess being she's the one right here. Princess my head zero. My head zero is ready for production, I believe. Maybe has a little bit more time. But Dunzi needs a year and some before he catches up to their age but Dunzi is supposed to be paired with her with princess being that they're both head zeros i'm sure the timing should be okay this is a hypo trans Dunzi's a hypo head zero head trans dunner so it should be interesting to see what kind of eggs what kind of babies they produce um this is Dunzi over here if y'all remember Dunzi. Dunzi in there sitting nice looking at his roaches and and his kale. He is a het zero dunner hypo het trans. So we should see some hypo trans het zeros. I mean hypo trans is zeros hopefully being that they're both head zeros. Um they should prove out. And we should see some reds. If uh, Dunzi is matched up with my Hypo Trans Red Het Wiblet, they should produce some reds, some red dunners. And if the Wiblet pulls to proven through, then um, they should pull some worlds. And from worlds, hopefully the worlds will be a hold back for future project into trying to make Wiblets. And um, those should be produced with the saturation color stripes. Um, that should be way down the line. So I don't expect any of that anytime soon. But this is the Het Wiblet World. I mean, Het Wiblet Eiffel Trans. And it's only 66 paws, maybe less. I believe it's 50, so. I'm really counting on his red to produce red dunners at this point. I don't want to give my hopes up for the worlds, but if the worlds were to fall through, then the worlds would be produced to another head wiblet, and they should produce saturated wiblets. This is red, the one that I told you had a little co couple growth issues growing up, but she's doing fine now. Believe it or not, she's one years old. She still has to grow into her body. She's growing super fast, excuse me. Um, very healthy. And that will be matched. This hypo would be matched with Michelangelo, which was the first one that I showed you. Hopefully with her, her red and orange colors, they should produce some nice hypo transits and hypos for me. This is Michelangelo, the pairing. So I have a pairing of a hypo and a hypo trans, a head zero to head zero, and a head zero dunner to a head wiblet, red head wiblet. That is Charizard. This is red. This is Dunzi. Dunzi's gonna be my stud. Come on, Dunzi. I hope all of y'all can root for Dunzi. And this is my hit zero princess. Big girl. I believe she's ready, but she'll be okay. For another another little waiting. Excuse the broom trying to get the straightener now, but no, there it is. Alright. So I'll catch y'all later. Y'all take it easy. I was just trying to give y'all a quick update on E-Dragons and future pairings. 
Man, y'all know we're still here, health in action. Anything was happening to one of these dragons, I guess I have to announce it. Um, hoping and being patient with these. Um, Dunsey is the center of the project. And if Dunsey was to fail, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to pick up another Dunsey down the road. But I believe Dunsey is going to be one of those that make it all the way through. And give me a nice production. And nice open doors to different types of dragons and genetics. Including the red morphs. Red dunners. Pet zeros. Hypo head transes. Dunsey, Dunsey, Dunsey. But just for sure, for sure. Yeah, let me know what y'all think. I'll be back. Hopefully I have some action next time. I'll do some feeding videos. Um, this is why I keep my nose in the glass tanks because they will bust through the other valves. <laughs> I can't pair hypo trans to hypo trans being that they're transes but you can do hypo the hypo you can do hypo, hypo the hypo so I would be able to do Dunzi would be able to pair to any one of these dragon females Y'all be easy out there. Take it easy. And uh, I'm not sure if I should show a couple clips of the veil. The veil is on the other side. I'll keep that one on separate short clips for you. Dunsey right now is in quarantation. Quarantine, I mean. I try to minimize the fact of picking him up and bothering him at the moment. It looks like he's shedding at the tail right there. But yeah. Yeah, take it easy. Say goodbye, Dunzi. Say goodbye, Dunzi. Bye. Y'all be easy. E Dragons coming at y'all soon. With productions. And as far as the giveaways, if you have noticed, we do have the giveaways that have already ha happened. Um, we'll speak on that later. Maybe we can get a couple pictures up of the giveaways and I almost forgot about my boy up here I almost forgot about Fetty aka Blue <laughs> just straight chilling this boy been ready to breathe problem is, is that my other hypo decided that it wanted to delay time and become a shorty he wanted to be a 4 foot 8 5 foot 2 little shorty but as beautiful as she can be. So, believe it or not, she's one years old, but she's still in full health, great health. No health issues, no problems. Just waiting for her to catch up on growth and size. When she gets up the weight, I will be producing her to Michelangelo. As you can hear him in the background. Gotta take it easy. I apologize, my videos are boring right now, not too much to see, but the dragons, but eventually we will have hatchings, we will have hopefully breeding videos, hopefully we catch them in action, you know, all that good stuff, and hopefully we see the production line, the zeros, dunners, and all that good stuff all on video, stick with me with the process, that right there comes from the Mentor Dragons. This one comes from Orlando, Florida. This one right here comes from Ruby Reptiles. Thank you very much again for this dragon. She he, she is something else and I will never be able to thank you enough for such a dragon like her. I feel like you blessed me with this dragon. Thank you again, Ruby Reptiles. This is a production of Pestmark. Believe it or not, Pestmark actually had one actual very red. And it's not very, but it's red. But it's very, very something else. Mm -hmm. Is that made any sense? <laughs> but yeah, y'all be easy.
before I repeat myself and just do this whole lineage thing all over again. Y'all keep it easy.